It be on this ship more than two years ago, where I encountered the most frightening ride of me life. The crew and all who sail upon her raise forty feet in the air. Back and forth they rocked, back and forth, till they eventually laid rest right where you see her today. Great story, mate, but can we buy a ticket now? Ten bucks. Five, four, three, two, one, liftoff, we have a liftoff. To the show. I'm Jet Newman and we're back for our huge second episode. Now I know in the first episode we had a few unplanned distractions but this time around we're far more focused. Every segment has been carefully planned out to... Hang on a second me ads on the telly. There are no questions, only answers. The journey is life itself. Life, 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 life. Answers, answers, answers. New York. Dreams. Dogs playing poker. Life's not just a fragrance. It's an odor. Jet Newman by Jet Newman. Parfois, la vie émettait l'art. What the fuck was that? Terry! Yes, Jet? What the fuck was that shit? That was you selling perfume like every other celebrity. That wasn't selling. I'm Jet Newman. I can sell ice to Indians. Eskimos. You were in it, Jet. Didn't you know what the ad would look like? They just said, smoke a cigar and we'll do the rest. That's it. I want that ad taken off the air right now. Okay, but it looks like shares for Jet Newman by Jet Newman have doubled since the commercial just went to air. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like that's what you want to do. <laughs> hey, Terry. You probably don't remember, Terry. He's not very memorable. I can hear you, Jet. Captain Jack told me you're almost late for the plane this morning. What happened? Well, I had to get petrol on the way to the airport, and it was really busy for some reason. You had to get what? Petrol. It's something your chauffeur puts in the car before he picks you up every day. Now, Jet, you really need to pay more attention to us poor people and what we go through every day. You rich people have your own staff. You get to do whatever you want. You know, I really couldn't give a shit about Terry's boring story, but I'm going to let him go because I think it might be a setup for a skit. Anyway, my car takes unleaded petrol, but there's so many different types of unleaded petrol these days, it can get so confusing. Oh, there it is. Let's get some content into the show. Here's a segment we call Retro Shit. Now this is where we go back in time and take a look at everyday items that old people like Terry had to put up with. Now today we're looking at the telephone. That's right kids, it only makes phone calls. No internet, no games, not even SMS. And after people would make a call, they'd put it down and go do something else. You know, like go outside. 
Now we've managed to track down the original footage of when the phone was launched. Let's take a look. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. Well, today, we're introducing a phone. What happened, Terry? I was watching that. I don't know. I think we lost power for a second. We'll see if you could fix it. I don't want it happening again. What the fuck? What the fuck? We better call this one in, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Where the fuck is Captain Jack? Captain Jack! Captain Jack! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Newman, just taking a quick toilet break. And right now, getting back to the job of flying this fucking hell. Sorry about that, Mr. Newman. What happened to Rex the autopilot? I fired him. And we're back. What? Oh, I thought you were crossing to a pre-recorded interview. I give you a running sheet every time and you never look at it. Well, if I knew what was coming up, then I wouldn't need you, would I, Terry? Well, would you just hurry up and finish your lunch so we can move on? Yeah, right -o. Don't get your knickers in a... <coughs> Jet! Hey, Jet! <laughs> G'day, mate. G'day, Jet. How are you? You're a little early, but how the hell are you? Is that you, God? No, it's Jesus. Why does everyone... Oh, right, the white beard. I am over 2,000 years old. What's with the sunglasses? We're 10 feet from the sun up here, Jet. You're not very sun smart, are you? So, am I dead? No, it's just a dream. You fell asleep after lunch, remember? Oh, thank God. No, just kidding, you're dead. I do that to all the new arrivals. <laughs> now let me show you around the place. Where are we? This is the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing to equipment. Anything we need. What? Yeah, that was the Matrix. I thought my impression was spot on. Never saw it? Okay. No, this is heaven. Anything you want is here. Want a cigar? I know you like them. Take your pick. <laughs> and remember, kids, these things will kill you. What about a drink? I know you like bourbon, but wine's always been my specialty. No, not for you. You look a little stressed today. How about a relaxing swim? Let's hit the pool. Come on, Jet, jump in. Obviously, I can't join you. Look, I just want you to send me back. Sorry, Jet, I can't send you back. You choked on a ham sandwich and died. Why don't you just relax and come and meet the rest of us? I'll introduce you to Mama Cass. At least you two will have something in common. I think she's still up here. What do you mean, still up here? Where else would she be? Reincarnation, Jet. The Buddhists were right. Don't pass that on. Look, I want to talk to God. Good thinking, Jet. Go straight to the man in charge. Unfortunately, since Dad is kind of in retirement in Barbados at the moment, and because this is a family business, what do you know? I'm God at the moment. So let's get you checked in. Excuse me, Jesus. Could I just see you for a moment? Sorry, Jet, this is my PA, Lucifer. Lucifer? 
No, Lou Sefer. What is everybody? Oh, yeah. What is it, Lou? Well, sir, it appears that, uh... Really? Oops. Ah, uh, Jet, looks like we pulled you out a little bit early. Uh, you're not supposed to be up here until a horrific plane crash next year. What? No, just kidding. But I would look at getting a new pilot. Anyway, off you go. I can hear him calling for you. See ya, Jet. Jet? Jet? Hey, Jet? Are you finished with this sandwich? Thank you. Now this is a part of the show where I... Oh, hang on, I forgot to make a phone call. We're in the middle of a show, Jet. Who are you calling? I have to interview someone for the new producer position. The what? See, that's why I didn't tell you. I knew you'd overreact if I told you you were being replaced. Replaced? Why would you... Shush now, don't be rude. I'm trying to make a phone call. Hello, is that Liam? I don't know who you are. It's Playboy billionaire Jet Newman here. I don't know what you want. Oh, jeez. You applied for the position as my new producer, but it says on your resume you don't have any experience in that area. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Well, all that sounds great, but I'm trying to weed out the wackos, so could you tell me how you'd feel if I don't hire you? If you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. All right, then we'll be in touch. Hey, Terry, we're flying over my dinosaur island. Your what? I'll give them a call and see how they're doing. Oh, g'day, Jet. Hey, John, how's the project going? Fantastic! After closely following the instructions from the original Jurassic Park movie, we now have an adult T-Rex on the island. Mark's just in the enclosure with him at the moment. I'll put you through with the CCTV. What? He's in the enclosure with it? We're scientists, Jet. We're not idiots. Obviously, if we made it full size, it would kill someone. So, all of our dinosaurs have been scaled down to a manageable size for safety reasons. This is also very cost effective. I mean, instead of feeding it a live goat, it can live off a slice of honey ham from the Coles Deli for about a week. Oh, now Mark's moved over to the raptor enclosure. Oh, Jesus, Mark, watch where you're walking! That's the third raptor he stood on this week. Yeah, we probably could have made them a little bigger. So do you have anything big there? Well, the only big thing we've got is the thing we use when the pterodactyls escape. Mark's just switching it on right now. Thanks, John. Keep up the good work. Righto. See you, Jet. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks for joining us. Now, fuck off. <laughs>